going on everybody this is risk it all alex and this is the first breakdown and we're doing it on trading view because i this like i said it's my first time breaking down a chart for anybody um i believe i only have 20 minutes or so but we're going to be breaking down uj and i'm going to be showing you how i basically how i trade the markets and we're going to start a little series going on so i'm going to probably do a breakdown i'm not going to promise but you know if, if you guys like it and stuff i may do one every week depends on the viewing whatever i'll get better shit better supplies all that good shit make it all interesting but this is an adult breakdown so kids i'm sorry you can't be in here because we will be doing some adult shit like most forex traders i, I haven't seen smoking they smoke but not on the breakdown it's not a smoking breakdown this one is so not saying that you have to smoke you don't you can grab a drink you can grab some water you can grab some tea you can grab a cup of fruit whatever you want to do but i'm gonna be smoking today nice wood and in here is some black cherry gelato it's nice tastes sweet nice you know what i'm saying gassy Maybe I'll do weed breakdowns too. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're going to spark the bleasy and get to the breakdown. Everybody grab their bleasies, pause the video, roll up. You know what I'm saying? Get your bowls ready, packed, get your joints rolled up. Some people don't like blunts. Get your joints going. And here we go. Like I said, this is black cherry gelato. And I spark and I spark my bleeds like this because I don't like putting the fumes in my mouth. So I spark it and then get that shit off. And then, you know. We in the game. So I gotta have a bleasy when I do a breakdown. Period. Cause that's just what it is. This is risk it all Alex's show. This is what I do. Don't worry about it. UJ, back to UJ. So I usually like to start on a weekly, daily time frame, depending, not weekly all the time, but if I just go on a clear chart with nothing on it, obviously I've erased all my drawings on here. It's just a bare naked chart. So I like to start on a weekly time frame to just see where we're headed, right? And basically I look at the trend first and foremost. So we can see from this little impulse up right here, right? We're making higher highs and higher lows, correct? Yes, hit the bleasy. Now, when it came all the way down here, yeah, that was a sell off. Okay, cool. But we could have caught that whole move selling, right? But this is your main point of interest where you want to be concerned because this is what determines if the trend is changing or it's continuing so this right here this low is called what you all you know want to know probably is structure so it makes higher highs higher lows higher highs and it came all the way down here but if this if this bearish candle if these two would have closed under that level right here right that would have been broken structure but the reason why it wasn't broken and i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna educate you so pay attention we only have 15 minutes left this low right here we can mark it off with a line or usually i do zones i'm a, you know i trade from zone to zone so i don't really I do pay attention to lines, but, you know, as you can see, that line doesn't really sometimes mean shit. So you want to kind of do it like this. 
get a rectangular box and draw it from where the wicks is, but where the breakout candle body is. So this, yeah, but you want to do it from the, basically the first bullish candle that you get. Breakout candle's body all the way down to the wick. And then draw that. That's called your fucking supply zone. You can take this line off. Boom. That is technically support. Okay. So that is your support. And in order for support to be broken, you must have two bearish candlesticks consecutively after the broken level. So once this level is broken, you see how it broke with this bearish candlestick? Let me start the bleasy. Pay attention to that bearish candlestick. The only reason it wasn't broken is because it created a bullish candlestick right after it. Come all the way down here. It spike all the way down the fuck here. But if it comes up and closes up like a doji and it has a wick and then this one next day is bullish, it's not broken. It's tested. It's tested. It can come all the way down here. All the way into this zone. It's called tested. You see the bearish and bullish, it's still holding as support. If it created a bearish, then bearish, like these two candles, bearish, then boom, bearish. If that did that right here, bearish to bearish, let me just mark it off so you guys can see. If this happened right here, you see those two candles? If those two candles happened, at this low right here with this bearish when it broke through and then the next week it was bullish that's called tested okay so we're still in a bullish trend and you're going to be basically looking for buys so we can go down to a daily chart like I said, this is my first time doing a breakdown for people, so I got to kind of like dumb it down. I don't move like this. I don't, you know, I just, I'm fast when it comes to this shit, but I got to make it retard proof. Feel me? So, in this zone, yes, daily structure was, daily structure was broken. So, you can obviously continuously be looking for sales in this area but like i said the weekly is you're on a weekly level a weekly level is more important than a daily level and you have individual levels so like boom boom that was a level okay you see the support you know and then the resistance boom level on the weekly, that's a weekly level. So you gotta kinda like take that in consideration when you're scrolling down to these smaller time frames, like the daily and the four hour, because it has a lot of noise. It's noise in here. Okay. So let me just delete this. And let me just kind of speed this up because we only got 10 minutes left. So in this zone right here. Obviously, you can be looking for sales because right here, you can see, look, let's just let's just go with the trend for a quick second. From this low, pull back, come up, pull back, come up, pull back, come up, come up. They still hold. They still hold that low. Came up. Now, this is the new low right here. Came all the way up. This is just a retracement. It needs to break this low to be bearish. It broke it. Two candles. Bearish, bearish. And then the next candle was support. So now, you know, once this level was broken, from that low, that pullback, once that was broken, see how it came, the bearish, and then boom, and then it broke through two candles, you know that your level is broken now. And some people would say, see, I use Fibonacci. Some people would say, you put your Fibonacci all the way up at the high. 
but it's the case but sometimes it's not the case because as you can see it came down and created a lower high point so you would draw your fibonacci from this lower high point this is your starting trend now you're looking for a bearish opportunity so we're going to draw it from the fibonacci this is how you do it pay attention so you draw it from the bearish, the first bearish candle that it has all the way to the last bearish candle. Once you see a bearish and a bullish candle, that's support. It created support, period. And you want to draw the, you don't want to draw it all the way down here because that's, this is support level. So you want to draw it here. And then this is your retracement. It came close to a 38.2 level. You basically can consider it as such because it's damn near there. And this would be your lower high point next. So you would be looking, like I said, for a candlestick confirmation. And your candlestick confirmation for this one would be this bearish engulfing of that bullish candle. This is right here, a sell signal right here. Came up, created resistance with the bearish candle and then engulfed it, engulfed the body of the bullish candle, right? That right there is your entry on the daily but like we don't that's a swing trade like if you wanted to swing that that would have been a perfect swing i don't even know how much drawdown you would have had probably if you would have got in it right there you would have had 30 pips of drawdown 30 pips of drawdown for a shoot 500 like you could have probably wrote it down to that level that was 400 pips for the 27 extension, 400 pips, or you could have wrote it down to this right here, 750 pips, or continue to hold it instead of, you know what I'm saying? You'd probably got wicked out right here, but you could have made some a lot of money just off of understanding the, the shift in the market. And the shift was from the bullish to the bearish, and then look for your next entry which was this one so it's tricky but <clears throat> what can we do here so let's look into what's been happening for the past couple of uh weeks here so this is back in january so this is where like i said you want to draw your levels uj you want to trade on the four hour time frame, usually for your structure points. So like I said, your structure points are your higher highs and higher lows, correct? So obviously, as you can see, this is your low. And then most of the time it comes up and retests the level that it broke. So it came and broke the level and came back up and retested it and continued to sell off. Yeah, it came up and retested it again, but it continued to sell. And this right here is a prime example of basically, what would you say? A prime example of how structure was not broken because look, It came down, right, all the way down, and it came, what the fuck is that? So it came down, created a low. It came up, retested this low, correct, that it broke. Retested it and used it as resistance. It came down and broke this low. It spiked past it. It can do a fucking wick, just wicked it nothing just like this and came all the way back up it could have wicked it and came all the way back up 
and then it did. But what did it do? It tested it. It came up all the way to resistance. It wicked it. And then the next candlestick was a bearish engulfing. That was your entry. Right there. And you could have rode that down to the next level. So this was your low. This was your target, basically. You could have had a short position right here. Stop loss above the high of the of the zone to first target that low that would have been a one to two risk to reward and if you could have squeezed out one to three you could have possibly squeezed out a one to three but you would have probably got out at that engulfing so it would have probably been a one to two three ish risk to reward pretty good on a swing you know intraday trading is different though because these levels are a bit trick because you got to kind of watch it on the four hour and base your trades off the four hour but get in on a lower time frame you know it's kind of you want you want to shoot for 50 to 100 pips a day type of deal 50 to 100 pips 150 pips 100 you know 200 pips you don't need no more than that you know what I need? I need to just like have a script or like like a breakdown. Like, okay, let me talk about this. Let me talk about that. Let me talk about this. This is my first video, so I don't know if this has helped anything. It doesn't sound like it did. <laughs> like I didn't even analyze. But I kind of gave you a perspective of like structure a little bit, right? You know, higher highs, higher lows, like it's common sense. Everybody knows this, but like everybody don't know it at the same damn time. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I feel like I'm just rambling now. But I am. Maybe I started off good. I'm going to just watch it back. And then do a better video next time. Let me see.